Let's have a fun, amazing, adventurous, fulfilled day. And when I say have an amazing day, first off, I'm wearing a hat, so sorry if that looks weird. Also, you gotta start off correct. And there is no better correct way to start, in my opinion, in Santa Monica than this, what I'm doing now. Santa Monica Courthouse Ledges. So it is now 8 a.m. and the first person other than me just showed up and I got a full session in, so this is pretty awesome. Um, sorry, I got distracted because the one person who showed up was PJ Ladd. Anyways, that was one of the best sessions I've had in so long. The nose grind basement was actually very surprising because I suck at that trick, but right now, I have a lot of work to do. I'm going to San Fran tonight, today-ish, and I want to make sure that I have a lot done so that I feel accomplished on a six hour drive, even though hopefully it'll be beautiful and the sun will be out and shining and gleaming upon thine face. Before I hibernate into the tunnel of coffee, I have a quick Q&A, one question, one answer from Timothy Wooding. Why do I say that? Because obviously one question has one answer. Nope, not always. Uh, he asked, do you leave your camera rolling as you keep skating? Yeah, I actually do. This is, what, this is exactly what I do. I leave it recording and sometimes the battery will die or the SD card will fill up, but if it does not, I will just cut the clip with the camera itself. You can use the scissors and cut it so that when you export the footage, it's not like 13 minutes of you trying a trick. It's only a 30 second clip or however long it took you to do the trick. So that's what I do and goodbye. Forever. Just kidding. You're gonna see me in like one second, but I won't see you for another two hours. I walked over to that computer and thought it was mine. Started playing with it. Luckily, no one saw me. So I'm walking about a block away to get some lunch because I forgot to eat. It is one o'clock now, and I'm about to get on the road and head toward San Francisco, but I think I might stop in a city beforehand. I gotta think about it while I'm in here, but it's one, wait, how long have I been in there? Like five hours? Point being that it's nice to see the sun again. Hey, can I just get a veggie bowl? Veggie bowl? Yeah. Why are all Chipotle's freezing? So I just walked by and overheard a conversation where a girl goes, well, he's a Gemini, so he's very stubborn. Oh brother. Hard for me to empathize people who take zodiac signs seriously. When you read them, they're based on your own ego. Even the negative things are complimentary negatives. Like, oh, he works too hard. Oh, he's too family oriented and not too persistent about his goals. It's like, there's a compliment even in the insults. So everybody who reads any single sign can find something about themselves that they relate to when it comes to that. That's why everybody's so surprised when they read it. They're like, oh my gosh, oh, that's so true. Oh, I'm just like that. It's because they're just feeding their ego. They're like, oh, I am a really hard worker. Oh, I am really determined. Oh, I really, no. No, I'm sorry, Zodiac Science, it's, it's a fun game. It is a fun game. Please leave it at the game part. And honestly, it's just my opinion. They, they could be right, they could be true. What if there was actually someone who made signs in the sky that did things and represent things and someone wrote it down and knew what they were things? Six hour drive ahead of us, let's get it. Oh, by the way, I know people are gonna ask, what, what happened? No, no, what happened? Uh, what that song is? It is actually No Broken Hearts by BB and Nicki Minaj. People always ask me. There you go. Definitely one of those songs that started off as a joke until this happened. And then I knew I was into it. And there's something very wrong. So I pulled over to find a place to urinate and I found this path. I'm not sure where it leads, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Hi, <laughs> awesome.
Yes. So right now I'm pretty proud of myself. I just finished the edit where I talk about originality in skateboarding, which hopefully you've seen by now. And it's funny to think that I have no idea the effect of what that video is gonna have right now because I won't be seeing the results in for another two or three days. Same with you guys. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm in the middle of nowhere. This place is completely beautiful and I have to pee really bad on top of that. How cool is that guys? This is where I'm at. The Carpenter Bluffs. That was the greenest grass I've ever seen in my life. As beautiful as this drive is, I have two and a half hours left. Kind of feels like I've been driving forever. So I just ended up in San Jose. I don't know this area very well, so I left my other camera in my car. I think I'm downtownish. I'm gonna go to this coffee shop right on the street that's open till 1.30 apparently and has food and the whole shebang. I will probably end my video soon, but let's go outside and see what's up first. Dang. This is what we call not a spot. It has the potential to be a spot, but it's not quite spot. Not quite a spot. So there is randomly a bunch of cool stuff here to skate, but I'm afraid to because one, my legs are gonna fall off from that drive, but it's nice cruising around. It's just if I ollie my board, my legs will fall off. Uh, also, it's like a high security college and that's never a safe thing, never a safe bet. As soon as I say that, I found a spot that I can't resist but trying at least a trick or two on. It's my favorite kind of spot. There's lights flashing, that's not a good sign. Rail off drop. I know I was just saying how I should get out of here because it's a little sketchy even with the cops roaming around, but I need a bathroom. And I think this door to this building is just open. Oh my God. I am definitely getting out of here. Pretty good stair set though. Let's go before the cops come. I have no idea what came over me. I just walked in there. The door was open. It was really, really creepy, really scary in there. And I saw one guy and on the way I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna drop this as fast as I can. See if I can do this, not get in trouble. And I didn't. As you can tell, I'm sketched out because there were cops, the ones that you saw right outside the door. That's what you replace coffee with. Do something like that to get an adrenaline boost. Obviously you can tell my energy level went from this to this, doing something like that. I'm about to get hit by a car. Now I gotta relax and go to a coffee shop. How good does this look? on a scale from one to even. So this is really confusing, but I'm about to upload the video that you just watched, obviously, and I never filmed an outro, ever. It just doesn't exist. And I don't have a quote to end this video with, but I do have something I wanna talk about. Tina Fey is the background of my computer. <laughs> no, this is not a very in-depth, in-depth discussion. Tina Fey and Amy Poehler are the background of my computer. A lot of people ask why, uh, she's just awesome, and so is Amy Poehler. They're very inspirational people to me. Uh, it's weird that three of my biggest influence are um, just these very powerful, awesome women who are really hilarious, and uh, I didn't mean weird as a bad thing, but instinctively, males tend to have more male role models than women, more women role models. I bagged that. That's awesome. They're killing it. Is that really how I'm gonna end this video? I think so. Uh, tomorrow is a really fun day. Uh, believe it or not, this outro is filmed two days later than what you just saw, so I'm actually already back from San Francisco. <laughs> So weird, but anyways, tomorrow is a whole San Francisco day, um, all day with Lance, it was really fun, um, you'll see that in a second, why am I, I can't, I'm not gonna ruin it, so thanks a lot for watching, see you in 24 hours for another video, thank you for subscribing, commenting, watching, liking, you guys are the best people that have ever existed in this entire planet of Mars, or on Earth, but thanks a lot, and um, take care, Good night.